Heating up, we're talking NASCAR. NASCAR icon Rusty Wallace is in town, and right now he is in our parking lot with Jennifer Johnson outside with him to talk about some really exciting stuff happening at Watkins Glen this coming weekend. But for now, we're at Channel 13's parking lot. Yeah, it went from the subliminal to like I Monday morning I went and got a bag of, of Cheez-Its. I was like, you know, I just want some Cheez-Its. And, and to the obvious push for not this weekend but next, Rusty Wallace, who has won more NASCAR things than I could even probably rattle off until our broadcast ends at 9 o'clock. Um, welcome. You are a legend. And again, as I said, I know so little about this sport, but I know it's so cool to be in your presence. Welcome to Watkins Glen. <laughs> Thank you. Who, what you just said. You said you weren't quite sure how many times you'd won there, right? I couldn't remember how many times I won. I've led a lot of races, but I won two times there at the Glen, and it's one of my favorite tracks. I love road course racing, and uh, we're going to have over 100,000 people there. The place is a madhouse, and the last three or four years, the racing has been incredible. It's been so exciting that it just won uh, the, the Watkins Glen track, won track of the year. Mm -hmm. So the fans voted it that way. They're fired up about it. I'm up here doing some advanced publicity for the track, for the Cheese at 355. And uh, I, when they called me about coming up here, I went, man, sign me up, because I love this place. It's so exciting. All right, so help me understand, because uh, I know you said there w it was awesome for a little while, and then there wasn't as much action, and then there's been so much publicity about the track itself in the past few years. So I'm excited that we get to talk, so <laughs> it's an exciting time for me to become a fan. But what changed? Is it Was it the, the drivers that came? Was it the actual uh, course itself the change what has been so exciting in the past few years that's reignited the excitement here we got more drivers that are better at road course racing nowadays before there was just some drivers that said hey look I got to go to the road course because it's on the NASCAR schedule but I don't like going there because I'm no good at it well a lot of them went out and got some training they got a lot lot better at it and a lot of them saw this as an opportunity to get their very first win and I noticed that big time right off the bat but then they start driving a little bit over their head they start driving real aggressive and man we started having some massive wrecks I'm talking big wrecks I'm taking out 15 and 20 cars at the start finish line coming to the checkered flag and man the fans just started loving this excitement going on uh, the racing up the hill we call it at the Glen is incredible the the passing under braking is something all the activities going on around the racetrack were just above and beyond what I've ever seen there but yeah you know we went through four or five years of kind of ho-hum racing I call it mm -hmm. But now that's quit, and now it's just wide open craziness. And the people show up, and they're like, "Man, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in my entire life. I'm going back." <laughs> and so the track's about sold out. We got over 100,000 people there. It just won track of the year, like I told you, mm -hmm. and it's just a great place to go to. Well, rundown. There's a schedule of events: Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Again, not this weekend, but you know the next. But to, if, as I research this, as I get prepared, because I'm a researcher, yeah. what I do, give me a name or two of someone who I should be watching for, who you think might make a splash coming. Up. Well, dark horses that we need to take a look at. It's some uh, road course ringers, I call it. Uh, last year, A.J. Allmendinger won the race, and A.J. is a good driver, but he's not, you know, the top five like Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, Kevin Harvick, guys like that. Now, all those names I just mentioned, uh, Tony Stewart, Kevin Harvick, etc., those are the top dogs I look forward to maybe winning this race. But one guy that's been red hot out there on a road course that you better stand back and watch because when this guy gets going, there's no holding him back, and that's been Kyle Busch and Kurt Busch, his brother, mm -hmm. the Bush boys. They've been on fire. And Kyle Busch, if you follow that story or not, he got in a big wreck at Daytona this year, broke his leg. He sat out about the third of the season, didn't even race. Now he came back, and he's won the last four out of five races. And he, you got to be in the top 30 in points to make it into the chase for the championship. He's out of that right now. But he's only 23 points out, and it looks like he's going to make it, and that's been the Cinderella story so far. Oh, okay. Well, they're, see, they're excited. <laughs> they're yeah. excited out on the road. <laughs> they see the Watkins Glen pace car here, and they're like, it's race time, baby. Let's get going, right? Wallace. <laughs> They're super, see, they're super excited. See, okay, so we're going to run down. we got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're going to take a break, but coming up in about 15 minutes or so, we're going to talk about this as well, because this is one of the official uh, pace cars, right? I know that term. It's a fast car. That's the pace car. <laughs> this car will be leading the start of the race uh, this uh, in a couple Sundays from now. Okay, so we're going to learn about that, and we'll run down the different activities. We're going to talk more with Rusty Wallace. This is so cool. As we watch our coworkers, uh, you, you should break down how my coworkers come in as they arrived today. They're taking it nice and slow, but I'm afraid they're going to see you and get too well, excited. They're rubbernecking and they're honking <laughs> horns and doing all kind of stuff.